Here's the real meat and potatoes. Here's what the uh, acid-base unit is all about. Reacting these chemicals together, acids and bases, and being able to determine Oh, and find uh, uh, the answers to unknown volumes and concentrations, like this question, which is asking you to find out what volume of the acid is needed to completely neutralize this base. Okay, so I hope you realize that the acid HI is a strong acid, and you can just check that on a chart. So it's hydronium and iodide, sodium hydroxide and water. Find the strongest acid, strongest base, easy enough. It's hydronium plus hydroxide makes 2H2O. Ah, 2H2O, there we go. Hey, now listen, you can't do stoichiometry unless you have 100% arrow. That's called a stoichiometric arrow for a reason. That's because we can have proper ratios reacting together. Equilibrium arrows won't do that for you. So acid-base stoic must have 100% arrow. You know what that means, don't you? Remember, that means you have to have hydronium or hydroxide in a reaction. If you don't, you've got weak reacting with weak and it ain't going to give you 100% and you ain't going to be able to calculate anything. Ain't, ain't, ain't. So, in this case, we were given 0.25 moles per liter hydroxide and here's the volume. I said 10.0 mils, so I changed that to liters, but look, I didn't lose my siggy diggies. Don't lose the siggy diggies. And then 0.10 mole per liter hydronium, or that's HI, and what's the volume of that? So, again, what do we do here in order to calculate that volume? Well, remember, the key is re remembering that it's moles that react with one another, right? Moles. So, if you have a concentration and a volume here, you know that moles per liter and liters, that can get you moles. You find the moles here, there's a one-to-one -one ratio, so you'll know the moles there at the point where these two react equivalently. That's called the equivalence point. And then, if you know the moles here and the moles per liter, you can calculate the volume. You can do it all in one line, baby. And here's the one line. If we take that concentration and volume and multiply them together, but look, it's 0 0.25. Now, I know we have hydroxide here, but I'd like to go back to the original chemicals in the question in order to do the stoichiometry. It just looks better, and it's more acceptable. So, we always want a net equation, but put the old n uh, names in to the stoichiometry. 0.25 moles of NaOH per liter. We never put a name of a compound next to liters. We put it next to moles, we put it next to grams, but we don't put it next to a volume. Never, because that volume, that liters, is not liters of NaOH, it's liters of a solution made up of water in NaOH. So, don't, because you won't get proper cancellation unless you do that, so do it right. Now, 0.25 moles of NaOH per liter times the volume in liters that makes the liters cancel and you're left with moles of NaOH. But we don't want moles of NaOH, we want moles of the HI. So we do a ratio. Now we've got moles of HI when the moles of NaOH cancel. And then we want the liters of the HI. We want to know what volume it, it requires to neutralize. So we divide by the moles of the HI per liter. See, that's moles per liter, but it's just inverted. That's 0.1 moles per liter, and that's 1 liter over 0.1 moles of HI. You can do that, right? Cancel out the moles of HI, and now you're left with liters, which is 0 0.025 liters, or 25 mils. Why did I say that? Two significant digits here, even though there's three here and three here, so you've got to keep two in your answer. You can write that, and then just say, or 25 mils, because everybody can move the decimal three times to find that. No sweat.